In this section, we'll take the derivative of the exponential functions. So our regular exponential function is e to the x. And its first derivative is e to the x. This one's really simple to remember. Its second derivative is also e to the x. So that's our rule for taking the first derivative of the exponential function. Now it gets a little more complicated if it's not raised just to the x, but is raised to some sort of other power. For example, if our function is e to the 3x, then its derivative looks like this. First, we recopy our function as is. I recopy e raised to the 3x. Next thing I do is I look at that power and I see, okay, it's raised to the 3x. I take the derivative of 3x, and that derivative, of course, is 3. So I multiply my original function by 3. Now I'm just going to rearrange this to look like it's more standard form, which is 3 times e to the 3x. Let's do another one. What if I have my function e raised to the 3x plus x squared? That x caret 2 means x squared. Well, first of all, you might see this written in a different way. You could see it written out exp parenthesis 3x plus x squared. That's just an alternative notation depending on the font that your textbook likes to use. All right, so taking the first derivative, the first thing I do is recopy my function in its entirety. Then I look at what was in that exponent, and I take its derivative. So the derivative of 3x plus x squared is 3 plus 2x. So I take that and I multiply it by my original function. Now sometimes we rearrange this to be in our more standard form and have 3 plus 2x in parentheses times e raised to the 3x plus x squared. Let's do another one. Maybe our function is y equals e to the 2.5x. Taking its first derivative, I recopy the function in its entirety. Then I look at the function that's up in the exponent, 2.5 times x. I take its derivative, which is 2.5, and I multiply that by my original expression. Again, rearranging if I like. Here's another expression, p equals 800 e to the negative 1.4 q. Taking its derivative, I recopy it in its entirety, 800 times e to the negative 1.4 q. Now I need to take the derivative of the negative 1.4 q, which is 1.4, and I multiply that on my original expression. And now I can combine that 800 times that negative 1.4, and my final answer is negative 1220 times e to the negative 1.4 q.